Hey, Laura. What's up? Hey, not much. How you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm gonna send you 100 digibytes, so we can、hey. see how fast it's gonna take. Awesome. Okay. And、uh, I sent it. Wait, I just received it. Yay! Thanks. 100 digibytes in what? What two seconds? I live in Romania. That's like thousands and thousands of people. Digibyte. My name is Jared Tate. I'm the founder and creator of the Digibyte blockchain,、um, and I'm here today in、uh, lovely Amsterdam. Beautiful weather outside,、uh, and we are at the very first ever Digibyte Global Blockchain Summit. And then there's Target. It's still suffering from one of the biggest security breaches in retail history. And now the company's CEO is apologizing to customers for the cyber attack on their credit and debit card information, as he tries to reassure shoppers that it's safe to come back to his stores. The biggest data breach, the biggest data dump, just occurred a few days ago, and it involved 3.2 billion emails and passwords. That's billion with a B. Now this is being called the Comb, the compilation of many breaches. It's a nickname that they have named, and this goes back into 2012 when LinkedIn had their issue, which which involved 117 million accounts, and Netflix had a data breach as well. We know that this this does tend to reoccur. So,、uh, Digibuy came about、uh, beginning in the fall of 2013.、Um, I myself had gotten involved with Bitcoin in late 2012. Uh, and after I was going through the Bitcoin Core code, I saw where I thought there could be some pretty significant improvements、uh, made in terms of speed, scalability, and security. And、uh, so, in, in、uh, November, was it November of 2013? I started working on the、um, uh, fork of Bitcoin, which, what I mean by fork, is from the code, not the actual blockchain.、Um, And came up with several ideas to basically improve the speed and efficiency of the blockchain, and that came、um, basically to a conclusion with the launch of Digibyte in January of uh, 2014. So um, uh, yeah, here we are, five years later. Let's talk about Digibyte, a digital currency used every day worldwide, but without the hassles. With Digibyte, you can spend, send, and receive funds instantly from all over the world. Digibyte is a blockchain technology project, like Bitcoin, but 40 times faster and with other major improvements. When you use Digibyte, you can forget about huge monthly account fees or other surprising charges. And best of all, transactions cost under one tenth of a cent. Digibyte is a community of of a million people plus. And there is no single person important within Digibyte. So it's not about me. It's not about Jeritate. It's not about the foundation. It's about us as a community. So we like to speak about us and 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 we. So I, I guess that's sort of our pronouns.、Uh, I guess.、Um, I've been asked to tell you a little bit about the Digibyte awareness team. So I'm glad. To... Digibyte awareness team, also called Digibet, is a global community-driven outreach initiative. Founded in May 2018, so we are fueled by the passion and the commitment of all the members.、Um, so we got together and we have decided、uh, different people with different skills, and we've decided to create a team. The Digibyte Awareness Team、uh, has no uh, centralization. Uh, majority of us, of us have a daytime job, and the work what we're doing for Digibyte is all voluntary. And we have also、uh, somebody from Romania. Alex Bogdan, he's doing some videos from time to time. Also, a very important team is our outreach team, people like uh, uh, Rutger, uh, Glenn, Jim, Amar, Nigel, Murad,、uh, Frederick,、uh, myself. Some people like Dean, Cedric,、uh, Ben, 
Stephen Candle, Dave, they, they are representing Digibyte there. Laura, Taylor, and Matthew flew over to, to Texas to represent Digibyte there. I'm um, Jan Meldermans from Anthem. Um, I'm also a member of the Digibyte awareness team, like uh, I already told you. First, I have three questions for the audience. The first one is, um, how many people use the same password for their accounts? How many people use the same password use the accounts. same password for their accounts? I'm the founder of Anthem and uh, a couple of years ago uh, we started Anthem because we are uh, afraid of the privacy for the people. It's getting lost. Um, some people are getting desperate. Where is more information? How does it be handled in the companies? And that's very important. So we, we discussed with a lot of uh, people that we are going to create a company that is uh, protecting the privacy of uh, personal information. And then we came across uh, Digibyte, and uh, we saw that the DigiID uh, would be a good thing to implement. And that's how we started with Digibyte. DigiID, it's actually, for us, it's uh, the fundamentals of the authentication process. And what we did, we linked the real identity to the DigiID. That's what we did. And we created our own protocol, and it can be used as a full service. Hello, let's try entering a password. Doesn't work? Oh well, let's try again. Okay, no need to get angry. I have a solution for you. Introducing my Digi Password by Antum ID. My Digi Password logs you into websites by verifying your identity with the help of Digi ID and then generates a password with the help of Antum ID. Get your browser extension, then scan the QR code using Antum ID app. Say goodbye to memorizing passwords and welcome the blockchain technology, powered by Digibyte blockchain. You can manage all your logins and never have to worry about compromising your credentials ever again. My Digi password autofills your credentials and logs you in automatically. Start to use now my Digi password by Antum ID and powered by Digibyte blockchain. Hi, and welcome to the bit. The Bitrix Global Podcast, where you get the inside scoop on all things crypto. Uh, if you could explain that at a very high level for uh, our listeners, for you know what is DigiID and um, you know how will it be implemented, and then uh, you know how cutting edge is that solution? Um, you know how far out on the the innovation uh, curve is the DigiID product? Well, there's, there's a, a really interesting phenomenon happening in the European Union. And lately we've seen a big change and a big push toward a digital agenda. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, actually, I think that the aftermath of the, the elections in America actually pushed that agenda forward. Now, we all remember Cambridge Analytics and, and, and all what happened. All of a sudden, people were sort of getting concerned and worried. So the European Union is now actually pushing for a European digital identity initiative. And they recently written a paper about that within a few years every European should have a digital identity and one of the things that actually um, has been looked at by uh, the European Union is the Digibyte uh, blockchain for that and 
the, the DGID uh, application. Um, so it's really interesting to see that um, there are a lot of initiatives uh, at, at the moment and massive use cases are, are simply around the corner. And quite often there has to be a crisis, there has to be an event, there has to be something that wakes us, that shakes us up, uh, wake up, now you need to do something. And we've seen a couple of those events and episodes over the past two years. So when it comes to do I see a, a future for DJID? Absolutely, I'm extremely positive, um, and I see great, great things happening for uh, DJID and Anthem ID. And then they tell you to save money. Why would you save money when they're printing money? Everybody's printing money now. Why would you save money when they're printing money? I know you don't save money. You're building businesses. Why would you save money when they're printing money? Because you didn't, I don't know. Because, because that's you... what you've been told to do. So. Let's talk then, Ray, about the limits of, of money printing. How long can this continue before central banks do run in to the limits of their capacity to explode, as you say, the balance sheet and print money? Block 765-8349, a user sent uh, 342 million digibyte, and at the time that was worth about 6 million US dollars. It cost less than half a penny and only took a couple seconds to confirm. That's pretty fast, that's pretty cheap. Okay, this is my phone, A, and I will be sending 1,000 digibyte to B. And these are um, both iOS phones. 1,000 digibyte. Send. All right. And it's sent. It, oh my god, that was like in like two seconds, or like one second. <laughs> that was awesome. I love digibyte. 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 I love Digibyte.
Sometimes a picture says more than a thousand words. This is about Ecos Community. It is our oxygen, our inspiration, our compass, our reason we exist. Without a community, we could not, would not, and should not be. Digibyte is a community of over a million people, from all walks of life, from all corners of the world, with all sorts of interest levels, as investor, crypto lover, blockchain adept, developer, decentralization advocate, or whatever. There are different vehicles to participate in. Digibyte Foundation, as a community, protect and promote the principles of decentralization, the Digibyte Awareness Team, raise awareness and promote the Digibyte blockchain, as a developer, develop on top of Digibyte blockchain, on our omnipresent social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, or the Digibyte Forum, or the Telegram groups, in which we have a special focus on mining, price speculation, support, alerts, discussions, translations, or developing. Together, we can change the world. Together, we will change the world. This video was made by Ray, edited by Alex, and narrated by Hans. It is an example of our famous community involvement Digibyte is all about. is the involvement of the community so if we would not see the involvement of the community that would be a big disappointment so definitely for us is is community involvement that is has to be center stage and uh, that's definitely key um, what we also see is, is, is partnership develop partnership with the blockchain community at large and we we, we we are decentralized, but it doesn't mean that we cannot work with companies who think slightly different about decentralization or have a more commercial and for profit aspects than we have. So having partnership, uh, rolling out our technology, our Digibyte blockchain within the real world with real time application and use, giving uh, user cases for our community, that would definitely be very important. So. What's super interesting about what happened this week, and I think it's the most impactful societally over time, um, is that we're seeing this phenomena where um, individuals in aggregate can believe something to be true and make it true. And um, we saw this with Tesla, and I, I don't think Tesla got this level of notoriety because it was such a, a, a longer playout cycle. But Elon, you know, was not hitting numbers that people thought he was going to hit margins, production volume, etc. People were shorting the stock, but enough people believed in the story that Elon told about what he wanted the future to look like, that they bought the stock, and that gave him the ability to do shelf offerings, raise additional capital, and ultimately build the business and make it manifest in reality that he said would happen. And the same is true of Bitcoin. Um, and this